Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Labor Day. As you see, we have a third and um, final box of 2020 Panini Chronicles here that we're getting ready to open. And if you've seen last night, I uploaded a few videos, four of them from the Indianapolis Speed Room, where my wife and I went and spent the evening. They had uh, several classes races. The figure eights were not racing last night, but they're Junior Fast Carts, the Adult Fast Carts, the Factory Front Wheel Drive, and the Legends Carts all put on some great shows there last night. So go ahead and check out a few of the videos that I put up from some great action last night at the Speed Drum. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on our current final box of 2020 Panini Chronicles. This is the box that I just recently purchased on eBay, so maybe, maybe we'll have a little bit, of be little bit better luck with it than what we did with the previous two blasters that I picked up at Target. The first one contained an Eric Almarola race-used tire card. The second one contained 650 Panini points. So hopefully we will have a little bit better luck than that. But as you, or maybe it was 600 points. I can't remember those 600 points. Well, nonetheless, you see Kevin Harvick, Haley Deegan on the front there. This side and this side are practically the same with the exception of this little blah, blah, blah on the bottom. There's all of our odds and our licensing right and a nice fun little QR code. There's the top of the box, the back of the box, of course. There's the front of the box just sideways, oops, except with their little social media stuff. And there's the Who Do You Collect. Thank you, Danny, for pointing that out to me. I just didn't notice it before. It just kind of blends in. Four packs in the box. Five cards per pack. That pack feels thicker than the rest of them. We'll shuffle it to the bottom. But no, let's not shuffle it to the bottom because it could be the Spectre card. Well, at any rate. So there you see the gold foil packaging there with the black trim very nice there's the back of the pack zoom in a little bit there so you guys can check the odds out we'll go ahead and open the first pack here we got four packs total and of course we start off with a game piece i'm gonna have to get busy doing some redeeming on these because i've got a whole stack of them about 50 of them sitting to my right hand side and i'm gonna take a peek here and see if this thick card is a relic or not. I'm going to move everything to the back. Okay, it's a relic, and I'm going to set that stack off to the side, and we'll go through it last. I don't want to do our hit pack first. We'll go ahead and do our next pack. Ascension. Who do we have here? Vinnie Miller. Nice rookie card. Of course, you've seen that I... Did purchase a Vinnie Miller autograph recently. Mike Harmon. I don't have any Mike Harmon cards yet, so that's a nice little add to the collection. Then we have a... Ooh, that's a real nice Richard Petty card. Double check that and make sure it's not numbered. I'm trying to see what his trophy is there. It's definitely from 1984. That would be his 200th win trophy there, the Firecracker 400. 1984, there's the back of that card, very nice. Pri or a, well, that looks like a prism, but it's a select. Brad Keselowski. And a Titan, Ryan Sieg. Very nice looking Ryan Sieg card there. So we'll go to pack number three, which is going to be the second one we're going to look at. It does have the other thick card in it, which is probably going to be... Excuse me, the Spectre card. At a game piece that I moved off the back. We have a Riley Herps rookie contender for Xfinity Series. Ooh, a very nice Spectra Ned Jarrett. That will be our Spectra out of this box. Oh, wow. We have a Haley Deegan. What's that? Unparalleled. Very nice. Had to get that one sleeved up real soon. We have a very nice Haley Deegan Unparalleled. Crusade Christopher Bell and John Hunter Nemechek Rookie Contenders. I think that that is the Phoenix card. So that's really nice there. Open up pack number four. Of course, this will be the third pack that we're actually looking at. 
Nice score. Tanner Gray. Rookie card. Eric Almarola. It's that pedal to the metal. Eric Jones. Joey Logano. Select. And there's Austin Dillon. Crusade. So we're going to go ahead and go to our last pack here. And I'm going to shuffle. Okay, I got the thick card on the back. So we have a Brett Moffat. I don't have any Brett Moffat cards, I don't think. So we're going to put Brett on the back. Ty Gibbs, Crusade. don't even think I've seen any numbered cards yet. Jeremy Clements, Phoenix. One, two, three, four. Did I skip one? Then we have Kevin Harvick. Base set. And we'll flip this over because I can feel the patchwork or whatever. And it's a reserve. Materials, Eric Jones, Cornerstones. Nice looking card. Does not appear to be numbered. But I will flip it back over again. Just to, There it is. There's the number. 38 out of 49. So it looks like tire and uniform there. So not a bad one. A lot better than the Eric Almarola. Very cool that we got that Haley Deegan unparalleled. And obviously you've seen all the rest of the cards that we got, so this was definitely a much better blaster than the ones that I picked up recently at my Target. I'm beginning to think that the uh, insert cards that you get in them are kind of regional almost, That because it seems like here in central Indiana, uh, a lot of the blasters that I get are filled with Eric Almarola, Clint Boyer, Justin Algeyer, those guys, as far as inserts, or I should say relics and autographs and such, maybe Ty Dillon, throw him in there as well. But it's just an observation that I've had over the years. I've never really put any scientific data into it to say, okay, the ones in California have more likely chance of this or that, but it is what it is. So I'm happy with this box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, probably tomorrow, if I don't have any mail come, obviously the mail's not running today, but if we get uh, get some stuff in the mail tomorrow, might be a mail day video. If not, I'll just go ahead and open up one of these baseball prime packs. Looking forward to seeing what we got. So once again, I appreciate everybody watching. Oh, by the way, we're up to 181 subs now. So I do appreciate the people coming on board in the last couple days. Do appreciate that. So let's keep those numbers up because when we get to 500, we will do another giveaway. And you guys know that it will be a relic card. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Come back tomorrow, we'll either open up the Prime Pack or we'll have a mail day just depending on uh, how the USPS operates tomorrow. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your Labor Day.